and he only let us leave to use the bathroom. He constantly told me I was a bad boy. This was an absolutely terrifying being. One of the worst we've ever seen in the city of Camillo. Rowan. My name is Kay Nueve. My name is Megan. My name is Robert, and I'm a survivor of the Camillo killer. I was out for my morning run, and that's when I was abducted. He just forced a collar around my neck and then brought me over to his house. I tried to get away, but the collar shocked me and it left a really bad scar on my neck. <sighs> he got me while I was working my construction job. One moment I was tossing dirt aside, the next I woke up in his lair, surrounded by bones. I was abducted about a week before the Camillo killer was captured. I was in my kitchen getting ready for dinner and then next thing I know I just I woke up in a cage. <laughs> when he captures hostages, he he caged them like animals. The guy was one sick puppy. His name was Boots McGee. I sh you not. Ordinary office worker by day, serial killer at night. I never saw anybody else but him it was very strange it was like he was watching me on camera or something because every time i stepped out of line no matter what he was always right there he was constantly forcing outfits onto me each morning i woke up to him pulling a new one over my body once i was dressed he took pictures we finally got him when one of his victims dug a hole under his fence to escape. So it made it really easy to track him down. We showed up, kicked his door down, and we busted his ass. I just hope we don't get any coffee cats. How has your life been after you left I get the urge to journey whenever I see trees and fire hydrants. My mailman will not even deliver to me because I bit him. Uh, no, I haven't noticed anything different at all. Everything's been pretty much back to normal.